Continuing on with our open roads designer demonstration, we're about ready to create the corridor. So I'm going to go in here and rename one of the seed files to corridor.dgn. Corridor is another one of these files that you want in a separate file. We open up that file, switch to the home tab, we're going to attach all the reference files that we need. So we're going to attach geometry and the terrain file and our image file. You can click open, your attached dialogs come up, they're all good, you're just going to OK to those, dismiss the reference file dialog fit the view let's see what we have here I'm going to zoom in uh, everything's lining up real well with the imagery so again you notice the imagery is uh, actually taken when the project was under construction so you see it follows it really well I'm going to go ahead and turn the imagery off just to speed things up and sort of get it out of our way. We don't really need it right now. We're going to set the train active. Make sure it's set active. So we're going to activate the train. We clicked on it. Pop-up menu come up and we hit the set the train active. Now this is the, the view controls that come off the right click menu. You see we got three views. Plan, Profile, and 3D. Seed files are all set up to do these things. Whenever it does a profile view, it wants you to select the plan element, and then it wants you to, to pick the profile view you want to act, the view you want to activate the profile view in, which they have always set up as the bottom one. Seed files are really important to those things working properly. So keep that in mind if you ever think about creating your own seed files. I'm going to rotate around our 3D view just so it um, <clears throat> looks a little better when the actual model pops in there. So we got a plan view, a 3D view, and our profile view. The ground wasn't showing up in our profile, so we fixed that. And we got the ground showing up. So now we're going to zoom in. We're going to click on, we're going to create the corridor. We're going to click on our alignment. We're going to do the pop-up menu, select the create corridor. I'm going to start doing the on-screen commands through that follow along with the dialog up there on the right. So template was already set to a concrete, a concrete shoulder and special ditch, which is good. So the beginning station, we're going to go ahead and hit Alt to lock it to the beginning. You could dynamically go place that or type it in. We locked it to the end. Uh, this is just a demo, so we're going to set the drop interval to 20. Everything else stays at zero. We are processing the corridor. You can't see the progress bar down at the bottom, but it's going down there. There we go. One corridor. Zoom in. See the asphalt. See the materials there. We are good to go. Now we're going to sit there and uh, now we got the quarter on. We're going to have to apply super to this corridor. So next video is going to deal with that.